Good morning, guys. I just want to make a really quick comment at the beginning of this vlog. I don't know if you're one of those people, but you might be. I know some people that are. But some people like to get up, but they like to stay in their pajamas as long as possible. You know, like, the clothes they slept in. Like, comfortable clothes, they want to stay in them and relax all day. I wish I was one of those people, but I'm not, and I'll tell you why. The reason why I'm not is because when you look at my hair, this is like bedhead, and it just feels disgusting to me. I have to take a shower every morning. So that's why you pretty much see me sometimes with wet hair, because I have to take a shower. And my pajamas, I just wear shorts like this, and then a t-shirt. This is a front t-shirt. So, I don't, I wish I was one of those people, but I guess I just like to be clean, and I love to wear jeans. But yeah, that's the end of my comment. Pretty long comment, too. Have you guys ever wanted to do a Harry Potter movie marathon? Because if you think about it, it's literally probably impossible. Because, you know, the very last one hasn't come out yet, just the first part's out at the moment. But, just so you know, I do have every single one. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then part one. So, I do have every single one, and I've been wanting to do that for, like, seriously, maybe my whole life or since it came out. But it's impossible because I think I calculated it's about 15 to 16 hours from the ones that are out right now. And that's, that's like, it's more than half a day. But, you know, if you don't want to sleep for a day, you can probably watch every single Harry Potter movie. But in all honesty, if you want a shorter movie marathon, you'd be better off watching The Twilight Saga. But I don't know. I just caused some controversy by saying that. But just so you know, I like Harry Potter more than I like Twilight. Controversy. I know. You can have a debate in the comments if you want. I don't care. Well, yesterday's vlogs uploading, I'm going to watch, observe, and report, because I've only seen it once, and I don't just feel like watching a comedy, even though I didn't think it was entirely that funny the first time I watched it, but, you know, I own it, and Anna Ferris is funny, so probably going to eat some pizza, too. Hang on. Since we're going to Mammoth Cave, my mom has been um, getting the, sorry, I wasn't even on my face getting this information on it, so, you guys will, you guys will like the footage, you'll like the footage, if you like to travel, you'll like this footage. So if any of you guys have seen Observe and Report, if you've seen it, what do you guys think of it? Do you think it's stupid? I think it's kind of stupid. Um, it's just because it's like a random movie they decided to make, but you know, Seth Rogen's funny, so I like it. And also, oh, I also know that this movie came out, like, in 2009, so I know it's not new, but if you guys have seen it, just tell me what you think. But if, right now when I'm thinking about it, it's kind of just like a dirtier mall cop. You know, Paul Blart mall cop, if you've seen that movie, that movie's hilarious, but this is just, like, the dirtier version. <laughs> Except mall cop, I think he gets the girl. You know, guys, I'm sitting here watching some daily vloggers, um, and... I just gotta say, I really have a soft spot for daily vloggers. I think they're awesome. It's not just because I am one, but it's just because I like to see what other people do throughout their day. Because if you just watch normal videos on YouTube, they don't show you what they do. They just make videos showcasing their talent, which isn't doing, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. Don't get me wrong, I like, like, Shane Dawson, but... And William Johnson and Niga Higa, but I like City of and Shaytars because I want to know that. Well, I just like daily vloggers, but anyway, I just wanted to say that some of them, some daily vloggers just don't have that oomph, you know, that factor that many people look for, like to make them laugh every day. I don't think I have that oomph, but that's for you guys to decide. Um,. I'm not going to give you any examples of people with oomph, but if you want to, you can, but I just don't think I got that oomph. Just a little, 
another comment for today. Guys, you know, I'm just sitting here, um, Hello, on, um, and welcome to Vlog Kingdom. Sitting here on me and Joss's Vlog Kingdom account, and look at this! Wha-bam! We got a channel honor! No, you can't read it, but I'll read it for you. It says, number 46 most subscribed this week reporters. And we just started this on Monday the 27th. And it's the 30th. We already got a channel honor. That is flippin' awesome! Have you guys subscribed yet? I hope you did, because then I love you! We have 23 subscribers right now. It's pretty awesome. So I had one more question. Do any of you guys by any chance live in Kentucky? I know it's a pretty small chance that anyone does, but you know, it doesn't hurt to ask because I'm going to Kentucky for the weekend. So if any of you possibly do or been to Kentucky for like a random vacation or whatnot, what are some cool places to go besides Mammoth Cave? But it has to be like close to Bowling Green, Kentucky. I think that's where we're going. If you've ever heard of that, or you know where it is, you know it's there. I don't feel like Googling places in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So, look it up. Tell me what you think. Um, whatever you guys want to see. Um, it's up to my parents, though. If they say no, then it's a no. But, you know, it's fun to ask you guys questions of where you think I should go. So, look up stuff in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Get excited for Mammoth Cave. And if you live in Kentucky, you're pretty awesome. Another random fact, no, not a fact, another random thought from Emily for today is Spearmint Chapstick is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try and take a break from the computer for a while and try to, um, I don't know, make some progress in my room. But I was thinking, I was watching a CT Vixie video. Um, if you guys have your own personal closets, like with um, stuff like you, where you can hang stuff, you know what I mean? Like this, you can hang stuff on that thing. And then you have have drawers and stuff like this. I have a quick question for you. Do you guys hang your shirts up on hangers or do you put them on like, I don't, I can't think of the names on, oh shelves, do you put them on shelves like, that's really cluttered, <laughs> or do you put them on shelves like this or in drawers? I'm thinking that I want to hang them, but I'm not, that's not really my question, I just wanted to know, what do you do with your pants? You know how um, you can like hang pants, but that just looks weird. So do you guys put your pants on shelves like this, or do you put them in drawers? Because I want to know what I should do. Just, just answer this question. Pants. Shelves. Drawers. Go think about it. Do any of you guys by chance know someone named Jeremy, or possibly your name might be Jeremy? But I have this um, choker that says Jeremy on it. I bought it because my ex-boyfriend's name was Jeremy. Well, I didn't buy it after we broke up. I bought it before. So, if you guys want it, I'll send it to you. But if not, I'll just keep it here. It'll rot. Can't throw something like this away. I mean, you know, it's like glass. And a little trivia question for you. Well, not a question, maybe a task. If you go to my second channel, which is the links below, but it's the end of Emily. If you go find my Vitamina Vegman video... I wear this at the very beginning of the video, but then it magically disappears at the end. The reason why, I'll just tell you. Let me check this out. Had my retainers in. Um, it's because when I was filming that video, he called me and broke up with me. And then I had to finish the video a couple days later, so I wore the same clothes. But it's just like weird because, you know, you see it. Nobody has probably noticed that, but I remember it. It was a year ago, and I still remember it. If you guys want to go see that I'm not lying, you can go check that video out. 
Just a little trivia for you. Another thing, I'm cleaning my room right now. I keep finding random stuff. And I found this motorcycle. It's kind of cool looking. I have no idea why I have it. But do you guys think I should put it on my desk? Just a random thing. Spice it up. I know I'm, you probably are not going to comment about this motorcycle. But, you know. What do you think I should do with it? So I'm still cleaning right now. And I was looking up here. And I found... Well, you guys have probably heard of Chuck E. Cheese. Cause I think they're like all around the United States, or maybe, I don't know if they're in Canada or Ireland, but, you know. Um, but I found these tickets from, from, um, what was I? Chuck E. Cheese, wow. Look at all of them. I don't even know how old these are, but do you guys know if, if you have tickets like this, are they still valid? Like, could I take these and cash them in for something? Do you guys know? Because that's a lot of, a lot of Chuck E. Cheese tickets. You guys are probably getting sick of me asking you guys questions in all my vlogs, basically. But this shirt's, like, over a year old. I got it, like, last Christmas. And my question's kind of, like, it doesn't, it hasn't really fit that well. It's really, really tight. And it's really short. It, like, goes exactly to my belt. So I want to know, do you guys think this is a year-round shirt or just a Christmas shirt? Here. It's Paramore, obviously, and it's Santa Claus with Haley Williams hair. Then I can't really show you the back, because, you know, that's too much for me to try to do. But it says Santa's a Faley, and I think it means a Haley fan. I, It's kind of, like, weird like that, but, you know, Haley has red hair, and Santa has the red hair. So, do you guys think this is just a Christmas shirt or year-round? And also, I found more tokens and tickets. Not tokens and tickets, what the hell? D uh, Chuck E. Cheese tickets. <laughs> Two tubs. Seriously. Can I, can I cash these in? I'm serious. Okay, so here's what I accomplished when I said I was cleaning my room. Um, I probably haven't told you guys, but a long, well not a long time ago, but <clears throat> since basically my mom introduced me to um, an old, really old TV show, um, you guys might not have heard of it, but it's like the best old TV show ever. Like one of the very first TV shows. And it's called I Love Lucy. And if you heard of it, you were awesome. And I love you. Automatically, I love you. But I'm addicted to the TV show. Here, I'll show you. I have every single episode from every single season. Where did I put them? They're over here. Every single season. See? Here's season one. And season two through... Through seven... Seasons one through nine. There's three seasons on this one right here. So all seasons of this show, and then I have memorabilia, which is what I like to call it, from like the show. And here, this what this is what I put here. I think I organized it pretty nicely. See, I've got Barbie. Well, they're not Barb. Well, they are Barbie dolls, but they're I Love Lucy from different episodes. And then there's a lunchbox, and they these are salt and pepper shakers that I found at Cracker Barrel. And these are like various movies that Lucy was in. And then right here, the same thing. And then this is an ornament. And this is also an ornament. And then this right here is Monopoly. I Love Lucy Monopoly. That's like, you can't find that like anywhere. And then this is a book with um, Lucy and Desi's like special certificates and awards and stuff. And I have a light right here. This is a light and a coffee cup. And a watch and a beanie baby. So I have a lot of stuff from that show. And the next thing I'm gonna show you, um, I looked, I googled it yesterday. And my mom bought it for me today from Best Buy, and it's this, the Cyber Power car charger. See, car charger, but you can put like an Ace. What's it called? Damn, I never remember what it's called. But you know, a, a plug, like like. You know, it's like a normal outlet in a wall. So, I wanted to get this for my computer, so I can use my computer in the car, because it's a five-hour drive, and, you know, I'm a YouTube nerd, so what am I supposed to do? And I also have to upload my videos. So I got that, and also, if you see, it has a USB drive, so I can have my iPhone and my computer in the same car charger, so that's freaking awesome. And I, I was organizing my closet. I'll show you that, too, while I'm talking about stuff. See right there? All my shirts, they're kind of color-coded. I have a crap load of black shirts. It's like everyone seems to have lots of black shirts. It's just weird. 
So I'm leaving tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'll probably have this vlog up before then. But just so you know, tomorrow I'm going to Kentucky! Here I found um, the link to where to buy these cyber power things. I haven't really used it yet, but, I'm, but it looks pretty promising <clears throat> and the reviews are really good. But here it is on best, it's bestbuy.com. See right up here, Best Buy. It's called Cyber Power. That's the company, Cyber Power. AC Mobile Power Adapter. It's $54.99, so typically $55. And my mom just went to the store and it was there, so it's probably in your at your local Best Buy. So go get it if you're if you go on long road trips like me for tomorrow. No five hours really isn't that long. It's like that's like Sarasota to, to Tallahassee, but you know who cares about that? <laughs> okay, so CTFXC challenge update day four ten four ten. So that's it for today, and I'm reading my tweets. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Going to Kentucky. I keep talking about it, but it's really not going to be that exciting. But, you know, it's something to do in the summer, I guess. Whatever. See you tomorrow.